It's been a long time since I've done a Costco finds video. Obviously with the book launch, things have been a little bit crazy this year, but I wanted to share with you what I found on my most recent Costco visit. Now, I like to focus on nutrient density. I like to avoid seed oils and soy. And it was interesting. There's a lot of clever marketing going on, especially in the processed food industry. Anything that says keto, you have to be thinking suspect before anything else. And in our PDF that we're gonna include with this video, we're going to give you some examples of things I saw that say keto on them that are anything but healthy. So as everyone knows, I've got teenage boys. We have a lot of protein prep in our house and I found some really nice options that are clean I want to start with Kevin's. They have these pre-done entrees. This literally be, would be one meal for one of my teenagers, but they're clean. They're easily, you can just heat them up really quickly. And uh, they're an easy thing to have on busy school nights when you don't want to start a meal from scratch. I'll also mention these are chicken meatballs. This is organic. And my boys really like these with pasta or rice. Again, these are going to be quick, easy protein options for you and your family during the week or or on busy weekends. They have these chicken sausages. This is actually the same company that did the meatballs. This is Amy Lou's. These are breakfast sausages. Sometimes I'll actually eat these with lunch, with eggs or an omelet. Really delicious, clean, and they come in a much bigger package. But since I went grocery shopping last week, the boys have eaten quite a few of these. I would say the biggest winner of protein prep were this sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. My kids enjoyed this throughout the week. It was very economical compared to trying to get grass-fed meat in the grocery store. Highly recommend this. I would say this is a top choice. And inside this package is two pounds. So very economical. Next, I'm going to move on to the oldies but goodies, Kerrygold butter, always very popular and you definitely get larger sizes in Costco. I would also recommend, I have one kiddo who unfortunately was on antibiotics this summer and we've been really pushing the Greek yogurt. And so they had this Shabani, low sugar, nine grams of protein in each one of these. We bought a large container, had 24 of them, very economical and certainly a nice option. One thing that I'm enjoying seeing is that Costco is now carrying a lot of cleaner brands. Siete is a big one. These are almond flour tortillas. I haven't seen any of the other options, but this is a grain-free, gluten-free, junk-free, no seed oil tortilla. And I just put them in the toaster oven and I might serve them with some guac or some salsa. They crisp up really nicely and you would never know. It's a gluten and grain-free option, but Siete has fantastic quality and there's actually 20 tortillas. So this is super economical compared to the packages that you find in the local grocery stores. Um, next, I also want to I want to mention, these are cauliflower sandwich thins. And although I am very sensitive to dairy, there's Parmesan cheese in this with eggs. It's actually nine grams of protein per two rounds. And you could substitute, throw them in the toaster oven. If you want to make a sandwich out of them or pretend it's bread, this is like just eggs, cauliflower, some seasoning, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which is almost undetectable. And my gut is tolerating these. So this is another best buy. They always have cauliflower rice, super easy to throw in the microwave. Yes, we have a microwave in our our house. I am a realist. These are super easy to use. And one thing that I've really also, not only with Seate, but I'm loving seeing brands like Primal Kitchen in Costco. This is an avocado oil based mayonnaise that is super clean. We use quite a bit, as you can see. We buy the large size because we actually do use it. And they're also starting to feature some of their dressings. This is one of the brands that you can buy off the shelf. They have no junky seed oils in them. I have no affiliation. I'm just liking to identify that if you don't want to make your salad dressing yourself all the time, this is a nice option. One thing that I got uh, obsessed with when I was in Costa Rica last December was heart of palm. And so now I've been throwing it in salads, eating it by itself. And this is a very good size of, as they refer to it, crisp and zesty heart of palm, but it's a nice vegetable, low carbohydrate. I just chop them up and put them in salads. And this came as like a two pack. So there's absolutely super economical. Everyone knows I love salted macadamia nuts. And this is probably the best price I've seen on salted macadamia nuts. For any of you that love macadamia nuts like I do, usually you get maybe, maybe you get 12 ounces, maybe you get 10 and you'll pay 10 to $15. This is actually a pound and a half. So it's 24 ounces of salted macadamia nuts. No junky seed oils, very economical. I usually buy two at a time. When it comes to using sprays, if you need to use sprays, avocado oil spray, they come in these very large containers at Costco, which makes them also very economical. 
They're starting to also carry my favorite brand of kombucha. So this is a fermented tea. Uh, I personally like Ginger Aid and usually they come in much larger containers. One thing I endeavor to do in videos moving forward, if it's not something that I think my family per se is going to use in a, in a quick fashion, we'll feature it in the PDF. So you'll be able to see exactly what I'm referring to. There were a lot of things I did not buy because my family just won't eat them, but they were clean finds and we'll include them in the PDF. And last but not least, because everyone's always curious, um, I'm a dark chocolate aficionado, but my husband's been enjoying these dark chocolate keto nuggets. So again, the keto message that kind of clues you in that it's probably going to have lower carbs and probably going to be a little bit higher fat. This has coconut, pumpkin, quinoa, and sunflower seeds all kind of blended together. One serving is one ounce. It is nine grams of carbs, so it's actually not bad. It's not too high in fat and not too high in carbohydrate, but if you're looking for a sweet treat, that was probably the best of the best options that I found. Keep your questions coming. I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram, how much you enjoy these videos. Make sure you subscribe and the PDF with all of these along with things to avoid is in the PDF below.